Today I'm sharing how to paint drawer pulls. This works for all sorts of hardware as well, including hinges and doorknobs. The process only takes a few hours and it's pretty simple when you break it down. So let's dive in. The first step is to clean the hardware. You can scrub them really, really well and get them back to almost bare metal. I have a separate video on that. Or you can just give them a quick scrub with a degreasing cleaner to remove the layer of dirt, grease, and grime. I personally like to use crud cutter. Then make sure they are completely dry. Step two is to lightly sand the hardware. This can be an optional step. If you scrub the hardware down to bare metal, or if you use a really good bonding primer in the next step, or if the hardware isn't in a high traffic area. When I lightly sand or scuff sand, I typically use 220 grit sandpaper. I don't want to leave too many sanding marks behind, but I want to scuff the surface to give paint something to hold on to, especially on slick surfaces. Then I wipe off the dust created from the sanding. Step three is to prime the hardware. The primers that I completely trust to stick to any surface, even the surfaces that haven't been sanded, are shellac based primers. So bin shellac primer and clear shellac. Plus they cure quickly and you can paint oil or water based paints over them. If I use a shellac primer, I've learned that I can typically get away with not sanding beforehand, but it never hurts to sand before either. I like to use a spray can for a really nice finish. When I spray with a spray can, I try to spray a couple of light coats, and then I let it dry for about an hour before I move on to the next step. Step four is to paint the hardware. My go-to right now is the Champagne Rust-Oleum Metallic Spray Paint because I love the color. I've had great experience with these other metallic spray paints as well. Once again, when I'm spraying, I try to spray light coats, letting it dry for a few minutes between coats. Basically to the point that it's only a little bit tacky. But most of these spray paints usually say to apply more coats within an hour. So I make sure to apply the next coat within an hour or else it says to wait typically 48 hours and nobody has time for that, right? Step five is completely optional, but if you're worried that it's going to get scratched up, you may want to top coat the paint. I typically don't top coat and I haven't had issues with durability but you'll want to check to make sure that whatever top coat you use is compatible with the paint you used. Most of this spray paint is oil-based, so you'll want to use an oil-based top coat. Step six is super critical. You'll want to give your hardware time to dry before you put it back in operation. 24 hours before lightly using it or installing it, and then be extra careful with it for about a month while it completely cures. Here are some extra tips that might help your project go smoother. Tip one, I love to use spray paint, but you can use chalk paint, acrylic paint, oil paint. The paint that I wouldn't recommend is latex paint that is made for walls. If using a chalk paint or an acrylic paint, I would definitely top coat the painted hardware. But no matter the paint you use, the process is the same. Tip two. If your hardware is bail pool style with the handle that moves, you can stick toothpicks where the handles attach to the back plate so the handles stay up in the air. Then you can spray the top and the bottom of the handles and all of the back plate all at once. Tip three. When painting hinges, you can open them all the way so they create a triangle shape. Spray the middle of the inside of the triangle and then flip it over and spray the rest of the hardware. This makes it so then you can spray everything that you can see when they're installed. Tip four, write labels on tape and then fold the labels in half and tape them so then you know where each hinge belongs. Tip five, 
stick a toothpick or skewer through some paper or cardboard, and then put the knob on the toothpick to help it stay upright when you spray it. If you use a long skewer, you can keep it elevated so you can paint the underside too. Tip 6. Stick your screws through some paper, styrofoam, or cardboard so you can paint the heads. Or sometimes I spray the paint on some paper and just brush it onto the heads instead. That's it! Do you have more tips or tricks or any questions? Please share them in the comments. As always, if this video was helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps get the video out to more people, so thank you so much.